The world is going through a tough time. So are we. Feeling bored, stuck, and unproductive during this time is quite common. But don't let these feelings overpower you because here are 110 productive things you can do at home. Read a book, fiction, nonfiction, anything, or it can be a book that you've been wanting to read but had no time in the past. Read self-help books. Lockdown and quarantine can be a great time to improve on your mindset and personal development by reading self-help books. Listen to audiobooks. So, if you're like me who hates reading, you can always listen to audiobooks on YouTube or on websites such as Audible. Learn a new language. Learning a new language is not only a gateway to another culture, but also an attractive skill that employers are looking for. You can also learn coding. As it improves your creativity and enhances your problem-solving skills, you can also learn sign language, which I find it pretty cool. And these are a few phrases I've learned so far, but let me know if I'm doing it correctly, though. Are you looking for a way to glow up in quarantine? Maybe doing some workout can be your solution. There are tons of free videos and programs available on the internet, so all you need is a space in your room, or perhaps go for swimming. Go for a walk if it's possible. Maybe it's in your bedroom, living room, or your backyard. Hula hooping is definitely fun and less tiring compared to other workouts. You can also try one of those 30 days hula hoop challenge and see some changes. Try improving your flexibility. Do a few stretches every day, or even learn how to split. In times like this, meditation helps you to focus on the present and reduce negative emotions about what's happening around you. Morning yoga is definitely a must. Especially because it relaxes you and helps you sleep better. Try cooking and experimenting with different cuisines and new recipes. Learn how to play a musical instrument. Okay, I'm just a beginner here, but whoever is watching this and today happened to be your birthday, here is a gift for you. You can also update apps on your phone, iPad, and laptop. Delete apps you don't use often because they will only take up your phone storage space. You can also erase unnecessary pictures in your gallery. Organizing apps on phone by colors makes it really aesthetically pleasing and neat. So this is how I organize my apps by colors. Turn off unnecessary notifications that can cause distraction for you. You can also clean your email inbox and spams. Write a book, literally about anything, or you can even write songs or poems. Start a website or a blog. These days, there are a lot of free website builder out there, so it makes it super easy to create them. Or you can even start a YouTube channel. There are a lot of videos on how to start YouTube channel, so you can always check that out. Treat those five ten hours as sacred. Treat that little side hustle budget as sacred. Listen to podcasts. I'm currently listening to Super Soul by Oprah, and I usually listen to podcasts before I sleep, so it helps me fall asleep better. Clean your room. So I recently made a video of me cleaning my room, and I'll put the link in the description down below, so you can always check it out later. Take a nap during the day, or you can also try to fix your messed up sleeping schedule. Make your bed. It's always a good habit to make your bed after waking up because you feel a sense of accomplishment right away and set the tone for the day. Maybe try cutting your hair if you're not convenient to go to the salon during time like this. Do some gardening. 
Gardening is a therapeutic activity and lowers stress and anxiety as well. As you can see, these are my indoor plants and those are my mom's spring onion and mint. You can also try to do daily activities such as brushing your teeth, writing or eating with your non-dominant hand since it strengthens the neural connection in your brain. Or you can always learn calligraphy. So believe it or not, I have the ugliest signature in the world. So here I am practicing my signature again. Check horoscope. I don't know about you, but I like to check daily horoscope and astrological predictions sometimes because it's just fun and exciting to know about your future. You can also create vision board because they can be a good visual of where you want to be in the next 2 years, 5 years, or even 10 years. This is very nostalgic to look back at your old yearbook and see how much you or your friends have changed over time. Read news and educate yourself with what's currently happening around the world. While stuck at home, don't forget to get some vitamin D as well. Or you can wax and have a spa day. So take some online courses that spark your interest. Tongue twister is always a fun activity to challenge your language skills. And here is a video of me doing a Chinese tongue twister. Train your brain with sudoku and also improve concentration. So you can also try some adult coloring book or one of those coloring apps on your phone or iPad. Singing is a great stress reliever, so why not, right? You can also try to gain some financial literacy and learn more about investment, accounting, and budgeting. Aside from copy or paste shortcut keys, you can also learn other useful shortcut keys for Microsoft. To free up your laptop storage space, I use Clean My Mac for the cleaning app. Learn new words. Um, usually, they have word of the day on mobile dictionaries, so it's pretty convenient to learn that way. Go down into the Wikipedia rabbit hole and read about your favorite topics. Watch a TED Talk video. I just like to watch them sometimes, like they are the best when it comes to sharing knowledge and giving motivation. Watch documentary. There are so many interesting documentaries on Netflix and YouTube. I recently watched The Social Dilemma and let me know what's your favorite too. Watch motivational videos. If you're feeling down or unmotivated, watching these videos can at least bring some positivity and motivation. Most importantly, drink more water and don't forget to stay hydrated. You can also prepare for your upcoming exams or study any topics that you enjoy. Looking for some inspirations or ideas? Pinterest is definitely one of a good place to go. And if you find any pictures or ideas you like, you can always save them and create a Pinterest board. Work on a side hustle such as tutoring or selling stickers, or you can even sell secondhand clothing. Organize your closet and find those clothes that you rarely wear. You can also do some tie-dye t-shirt, and here are some ideas for making them at home. Make one of those trendy beaded necklace or bracelet and sell it online. While traveling during the pandemic is not safe, you can always explore the places you want to travel in the future with Google Street View. Get involved even when you're at home by joining online communities. This is a book club by one of my favorite YouTubers. Make new friends online. Social media makes it super easy to make friends with anyone around the world. Talk to your friends. It's good to have a call with your friends and catch up on anything that's happened in your life recently. This might sound a little cringy, but 
Say I love you to your parents. I get it. Sometimes it's hard to say that to your parents, but yay, I finally did it. Do some online shopping, or if you're too broke like me, just add in the cart, but buy it later. <laughs> Discover your hidden talent. Maybe you can touch your thumb with your wrist, or juggle with one hand. I don't know. Try some TikTok dance. Create a LinkedIn account or update your profile. You can also create a professional resume or add any details. Do Meyer Briggs personality tests and find out your personality type. Get to know yourself better by doing other online quizzes such as the love language quiz. Clean your laptop screen or keyboard. You might as well as want to clean your fridge. Start a new challenge, such as drinking a certain amount of water for a week or a month. Take cold shower. Cold shower is always refreshing. You can further challenge yourself by taking cold shower at five in the morning. Create a bucket list. Write a letter to your future self. Use journaling as an outlet for all your thoughts. It has helped me with many things in life, and I can't thank enough for it. Reread your old journal entries. It's always good to reread your old journal entries and observe any patterns in your thoughts, or see how much your thoughts have changed over time. Get to know yourself better by asking questions such as, "What are my strengths? What are my short-term goals?" Long-term goals and who matters most to me. Put on clothing that make you feel good even when you're at home. Gratitude journaling. Try thinking of three things that you appreciate in your life and write it down. Write out three fears and how you plan to overcome them. Free writing. Let your thoughts flow and write about anything on your mind. Reflect on what makes you happy. For me, something as simple as the sound and the smell of the rain can easily lift my mood. Wake up early and watch the sunrise. Make a song playlist. Fix something around the house. Maybe fix your broken cabinet door or your clock. Gather clothes and books you want to donate. Throw away any expired food in the kitchen. Make yourself a cup of tea. Floss for better oral hygiene habits. Try putting together new outfits and document your new favorite looks. Give yourself a massage. Treat yourself and do some face masks. Use gua sha to promote blood circulation on your face and relieve muscle tensions. Do manicure. Try out something new, such as coloring your hair. I'm using a color wax here, and this is the after result. As the saying goes, laughing is the best medicine. And yes, I'm never too old for Mr. Bean. And finally, you can watch one of my videos. Just kidding. But anyway, let me know what you like to do when you're bored, and see you next time.